uh, one of the things I've been playing with um, is I'm a visual learner personally. And so, you know, just having a lot of That's me. My kids will pop in here all the time when I'm talking and I have to mute myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, my grandson is up here. Um, and so as a visual learner, uh, and one of the things I found with a lot of my students was that just putting the content, we were talking about content in our group, um, it, it just wasn't enough to engage them. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things Katie's been helping me with is um, we've been, uh, what is that, Adobe Spark to learn how to make banners and things like that so that things would be more attractive. And I know there's still more that I have to learn about, um, you know, the, the accessibility piece, right? Making sure that, you know, the accessibility uh, readers and things like that uh, don't get blocked. So I'm still working with that. So let me just share um, my screen with you and I'm going to show you two discussion board pieces that I put together okay. that um, were kind of colorful and I, just learning how to just drop in the pictures and make it simple but what I think is kind of a little bit attractive um, hold on just a minute let me just share my screen oh here it is right here Okay, hold on just a second. Um, and so another thing that Katie's working with me on is with the Casomatic and the overlay, because as someone who really likes to, um, I really enjoy when I teach, putting up a lot of pictures on the whiteboards and things like that. So I have a lot of pictures of things that are already done that really just need some overlay, but you know, using the style list and things like that. So I'm learning how to take and do that better. But for our purposes for here today, um, one of the things that I wanted to do in light of the Juneteenth, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. Wait a second. I don't know what I just did. Hold on just a second. Um, I think I just screwed up. What happened? I had it here. Hold on. Everybody. We are seeing your Canvas discussions. Oh, there it was. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. Yes? Okay. So, one of the things I wanted, um, especially right now, the, let me move my thing right here is the with the whole black lives matter movement that's really taken off is to do something around juneteenth so one of the things that i added was a juneteenth um discussion board prompt so i kept that pretty simple and one of the things that i didn't know that i learned was that there's actually a juneteenth flag mm. and so um i wanted to incorporate that in there and, and i'm and i made not necessarily letter, but it's kind of like a letter. So I'll just open it up here. And I was able to, and I, I got to change my colors here for my, the, the, some of the language. But just again, one of you, and I can't remember who it was, said learning how to do the wraparound of the picture. So I, I had a hard time doing that before, but being able to put these pictures of 19th century uh, Juneteenth and the Juneteenth flag. And actually this is like the third rendition of it. It was really hard to find that and then take and uh, embed it in a way that was, would be easy to, uh, to understand. But it, and it took a while, but I was able to actually get that done. And for me, that was quite an accomplishment. Um, to, to make it simple because I started out with like, I don't know, six, seven pages mm -hmm. and to be able to condense it in three was, was really good. 
Um, the other thing I'd like to share, and again, just making these banners, and there's something else I'll, I'll at least talk about, but I haven't fully integrated it yet, but I shared it with my group. So, and this is something that uh, I was working on for a while. So again, I was able to make this banner but then with, with this one, I was able to take and also put the little icons because one of the things that we have in Black Studies, we have a repository of information um, of resource guides. And so what I wanted to do was make it easy for students to actually get to that. And so being able to have these little icons um, to make it easy for students to click and make them live so that they could go into that and one of the things I wanted to do was to have icons for like certain things like, well, the instructions. So here's the actual instruction part. And we were kind of talking about that. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what's the instruction? What's the relevance part of that? Um, and then what I plan on doing is incorporating these icons throughout some of the other modules. So I think that would make it easier. And one of the one of the things that I learned earlier in one of our latter show and tells was the importance of having some consistency. And so I saw how that might be really easy and a good way to train my students to look for these, these things when they're trying to navigate through the module itself. So, and that's it. 